Hi guys, this is another Nico problem called longest common subsequences. Given two strings, text one and text two, return the length of their longest common subsequences. A subsequence is a string, is a new string generated from the original string with some character deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters. For example, ACE is a subsequence of a, B, C, D, E. Okay, subsequence is, is a log continuous string. So, sub, so, which means that the characters does not need to be adjacent, while A, C is not. A common subsequence of two strings is a subsequence that is common to both strings. If there is no common subsequence, return zero. For, which, for, for this example, the longest common subsequence is A, C, E. For this one, that is A, B, C. For this example, there is no common subsequence, so return zero. The input is always valid. Okay guys, when, when you see something like this, you should think of the uh, DFS, the brute force DFS or BFS, or actually dynamic uh, programming. Because when you, because there are some hints right here, longest, uh, maximum, minimum, shortest. When you see something like this, you should think of the dynamic programming. Well, you could use DFS or BFS to do this problem, but uh, I doubt that uh, it's a median problem. If you use DFS, if the input is extremely long, the DFS will just tie out. So here I'm going to use just dynamic programming. So for dynamic programming, we firstly get the uh, length of these two strings n equal to text to dot length and dynamic ramming it's a trade-off between memory and space so we define a new dp array m plus one m plus one that is just the convention of dynamic programming and then we just uh, loop over these two string m i plus plus for in j equals zero j less than and j plus plus so here we need to do some check if if we found a common character in the i's place of text one and in the j's place of text two so if text one dot care at i equal to text two dot care at j means that we have already we found a new common character in the i's place of text one and in the j's place of text two so what we could do is in the dp i minus one and j minus one because the length is m plus one and m plus one that is we need to one plus we need to we need to add one to the original i and j's which means that when we found the new common character in the i's place of text one and the j's place of text two then we found a new common character then we then we just uh, just uh, plus one to the i minus one characters of text one and j minus one characters of text two else else we didn't find a common character in the i and j place what we could do we just uh, we just uh, get the maximum one of the i i uh, i throw j plus one or the i plus one row and j column we just get the maximum one and after we done with the loop of these two strings we got the we got the result at the dp m m place to at the at the rightmost rightmost element of the last row of this dp matrix and that is the answer let me run code
submit. Okay, guys, that worked. So the so here we are using the dynamic programming. So what we what we could do is that we have two example, this one and this one. If we find the i's place and j's place, they have they the characters they are equal. Then the formula what we need what we used to do is is dp i j equal to one plus all the i minus one all the i minus one and j minus one characters of text one and text two but if if they are not if the they are not equal what we need to do is for the dp i J. We just uh, get the maximum one of dpi minus one j, or the dpi j minus one, and we by doing this, we could get the final result. Actually, this is a very very typical dynamic programming problem. If you cannot make this, you need to practice more. Thank you. One other thing is that, guys, you really need to either subscribe, like, or comment on my videos. Thank you very much.